You have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so, in the presence of the Church, I ask you to state your intentions. Adam and Kellys, I shall now ask you if you will freely undertake the obligations of marriage, and to state that there is no legal impediment to your marriage. Are you ready, freely and without reservation, to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Are you ready to love and honour each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? Are you ready to accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? I do solemnly declare that I know not of any lawful impediment why I, Adam Michael Druid Clark, may not be joined in matrimony to Kerry's Teresa Durkin. I do solemnly declare that I know not of any lawful impediment why I, Kerry's Teresa Durkin, may not be joined in matrimony to Adam Michael Stuart Clark. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, declare your consent before God and his church. Adam Michael Stuart Clark, will you take Kerry's Teresa Durkin, here present for your lawful wife, according to the right of our Holy Mother the Church? Kerry's Teresa Durkin, Will you take Adam Michael Druid Clark here present for your lawful husband, according to the right of our Holy Mother of the Church? Kerry's, <laughs> take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father and of the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. And then take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 